Yesterday, I received a text message from a patient that I had brought up in an earlier episode. You may remember Lisa. She was seen at her PA, and he fought her about an MRI, gave her a really bad time, and said, oh, you know, you don't need an updated lumbar spine MRI. Basically, it's all in your head. Remember that episode? Okay, so she sends me a text message and says they gave her a diagnosis of S1 radiculopathy. All right. I mean, at least it's a diagnosis, but it's not much of one. All right. They don't say what's causing the compression on the S1 nerve root. A radiculopathy means that there's muscle weakness and some abnormal sensations in the lower extremity, the foot, and its S1 nerve is being compressed. Well, it doesn't say it where it's being compressed. Is it a disc? Is it uh, a joint that is arthritic? Is it a narrowing of the opening where the nerve comes out? They don't say any of that. Just S1 radiculopathy. And here's how they want to take care of it. They want to do what we call a nerve ablation, which means they want to go burn the nerve. The nerve that is going to let her know what's going on in her low back. The theory behind it, and I say it's a theory because I've never seen them really work very well and absolutely no permanent relief. What they do is they burn the nerve that they believe is responsible for the pain, transmitting the pain up to the brain. And that nerve is going to regenerate in six months. Most of the time, the people that have had nerve ablations, they either have no relief or they get a few months of relief, then they're right back in doing another nerve ablation. Now, have you been watching any of the episodes? You got to believe that this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous because what have I been saying about chronic pain? It's a problem with the brain because the brain is not getting information from the rest of the body via the joints, the muscles, tendons, ligaments. And so now, What does the pain management guys want to do? They want to go burn the nerve, the very nerve that we need to have transmit the information up to the brain to stop the chronic pain. Does that just sound ridiculous? Now, if your pain management doctor is recommending that, I'm not telling you, I am not telling you not to do it. All right. I don't have that kind of authority. But what I can tell you is I tell my patients not to do it. It's counterintuitive. Why would you burn a nerve that is going to allow you to feel things in your back? Because remember, pain is our warning system. And if they take that away, man, you could be in there really tearing some things up in your low back because you feel great. But here's the other thing, too. It's not the true cause of the problem. That is not going to get to really what is happening with your brain or the other structures. And it, it goes back to a couple of the most recent episodes that I've talked about. Now we're we're bike we're right back at a mechanical or structural. You know, we're looking at it from that lens. It's not being looked from a neurological lens. You know why they want to do the ablation? Because they don't understand chronic pain. They think they do. Oh, they think they do. And I practiced in a pain management clinic for three years. And really, the best outcomes we had was some really severe chronic patients. Post-surgical patients was a combination of chiropractic adjustments using my Cox flexion distraction technique and then getting patients moving. Now, this is well before I learned about neuromuscular education and the direct current therapy that I have in my office now, but we still had pretty good results. But when you get the neuromuscular direct current stimulation onto the multifidus muscle, it's a beautiful thing. If you're in pain, and I get it, I get it. You're in pain. You wake up every day and it's chronic pain. You're going, is this going to be the day that I'm going to be feeling better? Well, one of the ways that you can feel better, that you can take that step, is get a BioWave Go. The BioWave Go is my pain medication, I guess, but it's in an electrical stimulation format. And what it's going to do, it's going to block the pain transmission. So instead of getting the nerve ablation, think about just getting BioWave Go and If it doesn't work, you got a 30-day money-back guarantee. But I tell you what, I've yet to have any patient, and I've used this thing since 2016. I've recommended it to hundreds of patients. I've yet to have one return it. The link is below. And hey, if you like everything, subscribe and tell others. Because that's the only way we're going to be able to defeat pain, is if you tell others about what's going on here at this channel. So until the next episode, let's keep defeating pain together. See ya.